Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about ratio. To understand ratio, let's take a look at this example first. There are two kids, namely Ayla and Keith. Ayla has six candies while Keith has three candies. Therefore, the ratio of candies Ayla and Keith have is written as 6 colon 3. This can be read as 6 is to 3. We can also write it as 6 divided by 3. So in this example, we are just basically comparing the candies Ayla and Kit have. Therefore, we can conclude that we use ratio to make comparison between two things. Basically, ratio indicates how many times one number contains another. Let's have another example to further understand this topic. The ratio of flour to milk is 3 is to 2. But how about we make a lot of cake? What will be the ratio of flour and milk? In order to make a lot of cakes, we might need 4 times the quantity. So we need to multiply the numbers by 4. So the ratio will become 12 is to 8. So the ratio of flour to milk becomes 12 is to 8. This ratio is just the same as 3 is to 2. Therefore, the taste of the cake with ratio 3 is to 2 is just the same taste as the cake with the ratio 12 is to 8. There are also different types of ratio, the part-to-part -part ratio and the part-to-whole ratio. To understand the different types of ratio, let's take a look at this example. There are 10 children at the park, 4 are girls and 6 are boys. So the ratio of girls to boys is 4 is to 6 and the ratio of boys to girls is 6 is to 4. These ratios are example of a part-to-part -part ratio. Now we already know the part to part ratio, let's now proceed to part to whole ratio. If the problem is asking for the ratio of the girl to all the kids in the park, the ratio will be 4 is to 10 because there are 10 kids in the park and 4 of them are girls. Similarly, the ratio of boys to all the kids in the park is 6 is to 10 since there are 6 boys out of 10 kids. So these ratios are an example of part to whole ratio. In the part-to-part -part ratio, we just compare the two things like girls to boys and boys to girls. While in the part-to-whole ratio, we compare it to the total number of things like, like girls to all the kids and boys to all the kids. So that's what ratio is all about. Now that you already know how to get a ratio, let's now discuss on how to simplify a ratio. Yes, you've heard it right. Ratio can be simplified, but how? I'll take a look at this example. So if you have a ratio of 4 is to 6, we can also write it as 4 divided by 6. So how to simplify this ratio? 4 and 6 are both divisible by 2. So if we divide both the numerator and denominator by 2, we can get an answer of 2 over 3. And 2 over 3 doesn't have common factor. Therefore, the simplest form of the ratio 4 is to 6 will be 2 is to 3 or 2 over 3. The 2 there is the highest common factor or HCF of 4 and 6. Another example, 30 is to 50 can be written as 30 divided by 50. Now we all know that 30 and 50 can be divided to 2 so if we divide 30 and 50 by 2, it will give as an answer of 15 over 25. Is 15 and 25 have common factor? Yes, that's right. They still have a common factor. 15 and 25 can be divided by 5. Therefore, if we divide 15 and 25 by 5, it will give us an answer of 3 over 5. So 3 over 5 doesn't have common factor. Therefore, 3 over 5 is the simplest form of the ratio 30 over 50. And the product of all the number which we divide the numerators and denominators by will be the HCF or the highest common factor. So in the example, we divided the numerator and denominator by 2 and 5, therefore 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So 10 is the HCF of the ratio 30 over 50. So that's how you simplify the ratio. It has the same rule in simplifying a fraction. That's it guys. I hope you learned a lot about ratio and how to simplify the ratio. You can also watch other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you.